Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. We're going to go ahead and evaluate negative 9 times negative 8 times negative 2. So to do this problem, uh, and this is what I would recommend doing, and of course you don't have to do it this way, but in order to solve a problem including multiplication of negatives, it's important to know how many negatives there are. And in this problem, we can see that there are three negatives here. One, two, and three. Three negatives. And the reason that's important is because depending on the number of negatives we have in a multiplication problem, uh, we'll determine if the answer is positive or negative. Well, this specific problem has three, which is odd. And since that's the case, we know that the answer is negative, which we can write out like this. From here, it's just uh, regular multiplication because we don't have to worry about those negatives and I can even erase them from the problem if that helps. Now again the reason this is important is because we know that the answer is negative. So let's go ahead and do first 9 times 8 and when we multiply those we get 72. And then we would have to multiply that by this 2 right here. So 72 times 2, let's go ahead and set that up and we have 2 times 2 which is 4 2 times 7 which is 14 we'll carry that 1 down and this is our answer 144 so in the final answer though it becomes a negative because we knew that the value was negative because there were three negatives in the problem All right? so there you have it